Articles are selected for a journal by sending them to two domain experts for review. Once feedback about an article has been received from one of the two reviewers, an initial decision can be made as to whether to include it in the issue. It is important, however, that both reviews are completed in order to ensure the final decision is based on feedback from all of the reviewers. Additional reviews may be requested for the article. However, they cannot be received or processed until the first two reviews have been received and processed. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on BPMN and workflow patterns. Today we look at the blocking discriminator pattern. This pattern is a special case of the blocking partial join pattern where n is equal to 1. I'll put a link to the blocking partial join pattern in the description below. The convergence of two or more branches into a single subsequent branch following one or more corresponding divergences earlier in the process model. The thread of control is passed to the subsequent branch when the first active incoming branch has been enabled. The blocking discriminator construct resets when all active incoming branches have been enabled once for the same process instance. Subsequent enablements of incoming branches are blocked until the blocking discriminator has reset. You can see the behavior in the original flash animation. So we start with A here and then we have B and C and B and C are completed at the same time and the discriminator passes one token to D. If on the other hand we have A and then B and C are not completed at the same time. We have a token for D after completion of B and then the completion of C doesn't trigger any other token. In BPMN we can model the example with the combination of splits and joins as in this diagram. When any of the two reviews is finished we increase a counter that is initialized with zero. After completion of the first review we can make the initial decision. We have to wait until the second review is completed before we can ask for additional reviews or make our final decision. So the end join does the blocking here. So here in this specification we have the two review article tasks and then we have counters that are increased by script tasks after that. So let's say the first one here review article is completed, the counter is increased and now the counter is 1 and we go to make initial decisions. So this is enabled and after that when the second review article is finished it will find that the counter is now already 2 and then it goes up here and then goes to the and join and after that we can review new articles or make our final decision. Thank you for watching.